Hi, welcome to Clarinet HQ. This is duet two from our Crossing the Break survival guide. You can download the workbook and the music at our website, and the link is in the description of this video below. Um, if you would like to skip straight to the play along, you can go to this time. So duet number two is a great opportunity to practice hovering over the tone holes and the keys on your clarinet. Um, so what is hovering? If you've ever seen a helicopter, even in like a movie, after they take off and sometimes before they land, they'll actually just hang out a few feet above the ground without actually like going anywhere. And that's hovering, where you are just hanging out, but not actually touching what's right next to you. So one of the reasons why we can't have our fingers way out in outer space when we play clarinet is not only because we might be late coming in, but it also makes our fingers less accurate because they're farther away. So imagine throwing, up, throwing a crumpled sheet of paper into the trash can when it's only a foot away from you versus throwing it into the trash can when it's 20 feet away from you. You're much more likely to be accurate and making the basket when that trash can is much closer to you. So that's why we have to make sure that we're hovering um, right over the tone holes and hanging out over some of the keys. So if you haven't yet, I suggest you check out our pinky trick video for better hand position. That has some hacks with how you can best keep your fingers hovering um, and where they need to be. Now, let's talk about the A key. We get to use our A key in this duet. And there, we do have a great video um, called Rolling to the A Key. And that video has a lot of tips and tricks to how to best roll your first finger. Um, some key information with that is <laughs> the A key, is, it's not a button, right? So it's not a button that you press down the same way you would press like an elevator button. Um, it's something where you actually have to roll your first finger but I want you to notice how I'm rolling my first finger to play my A key, but my other, my left hand isn't like flying out into outer space. So let's talk about breathing and air because you can't play clarinet unless you use your air. Um, now in combination with hovering, great air is going to help you cross the break the most successfully. Uh, now when we play clarinet, we use what we call cold air. Okay, so first I want you to pretend like you are fogging up a window. <sighs> you feel that air, it's like really warm, right? <sighs> now I want you to um, hold your hand out a little further and you're gonna pretend like you're blowing out a birthday candle. <sighs> Notice how the air has to be super focused and you don't feel any warmth. And so we call that cold air. And cold air, super focused, Fast, cold air is the best kind of air to use when we play clarinet at all times, not just when we're crossing the break. So something else about breathing, when we take a breath, you want to make sure that you're breathing. We say sometimes breathing deeply, and what we mean by that is you're breathing with the intent to fill your lungs up from the bottom to the top. Okay, and that's gonna ensure that you are getting as much air as possible and then focusing it straight into your clarinet. All right, let's play the music. One, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
playing with us. Um, make sure you keep working on that crossing the break workbook. And if you have any questions about anything clarinet related, you can post them in the comments and we're happy to help. Thanks for stopping by.